Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back from the intermission to more MLE Network action presented by APM. I am Lars Nude. I'm going to be your color for tonight. We've got the Foxes versus the Wolves in the Academy League. And joining me here for your play-by-play -play is going to be Vitaly. Vitaly, how are you doing tonight? Doing pretty good. Uh, you ready for this matchup? Uh, obviously, Academy League, Foxes and Wolves. We just saw that 5-0 uh, that last series. So hoping <clears> to see uh, some closer series tonight. Um, I don't know. Uh, how are you doing tonight? I'm good. It's exciting. It's always fun to be over here on the MLE Network. So this matchup here, Foxes and Wolves, I'm just going to throw it right to you. Both teams not with a great start in the season, but what is your prediction for this matchup? Uh, you know what? I got to go with the stats. I think the Wolves the Wolves have the better record so far, and I, I think that that... I, I, honestly, I'm unsure of what, what this is going to happen, but I'm going to go with the Wolves here tonight. Okay, well, I, you heard it here from Vitaly. <laughs> He's picking the Wolves. I don't do predictions, so I'm going to be that guy. And okay, <laughs> make, make okay, prediction. <laughs> man. No, you can't make me do a non-prediction, a and then okay, you can't I, do a prediction. Okay, I'll pick I'll pick the Foxes just okay. to be a contrarian here. I'm going to look for the upset with the Foxes, but I think we are ready to go and hop in to game one here. I see that uh, I am I'm late on that cue. But well, here we are. <laughs> game one, best of five series. We're going to play all five games regardless of what happens throughout the first few. But we are looking for series wins here. Both teams coming in one and two. Yeah. Foxes in the orange. Wolves in the blue. Stevo and Foof on the side of the Wolves. Who's your daddy? I don't know if that's that's a name we want to say on broadcast, but <laughs> and King Has getting started early. He's gonna put that one in. 13 seconds in. King Has gets the first one. And that's just such a quick turnaround. There's not a whole lot to say here. We just saw the the uh, wolves push really quick down, and the foxes did a great job turning it around. I think the one thing I do want to call it is what is that car? It's the aftershock. Aftershock. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's it's a gorgeous car. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, if I wasn't so, you know, set on the octane or you know, Dominus or Fennec, I might use it myself. Honestly, it's pretty, it's pretty funny to use. That's something that we've seen a lot of here in this season of MLE is a lot of the kind of the not meta cars, and it's been great to see. We saw the Merc yesterday on some affiliate streams. We've seen just such a wide variety, but here the Wolves tying it right back up with a little bit of corner ball, rolling that one in, and the Foxes nowhere to be seen on defense. Yeah, the Wolves using the meta cars to get that one. Good play from the corner step of the Foof. He's going to put that one away, and a 1-1 early on, 48 seconds in. Nothing too crazy. Good job with the, the Wolves coming back and making sure not to let the Foxes run away with it, but Foof with that one off the wall. The King has is going to put this one into the corner. Not able to get it past Stevo in the corner, but still. Teams just filling each other out. It's early on in this game at number one. They got to make sure that they don't want to make any mistakes here. I know it is. We're all playing. We're playing all five games, but you still want to get that series advantage here in this game number one. Absolutely. And, you know, it, it's momentum. We talk about, talk about it, excuse me, so much with MLE and, and really Rocket League in general, especially when you're playing series, is momentum. The momentum of the ball, the momentum of the players, and the momentum of the game and the momentum of the series. It's just at every level, it matters. So getting that early goal was so good for the Foxes, giving them that quick start. But getting the first win in the series here is going to go a long way for setting them up through the rest of the series. Yeah, for sure. This, this ball is off the crossbar. Unfortunate for Foof. Just couldn't put that one away. And now the Foxes Getting away with it now, a good 50 into the midfield, but not a whole lot of boost, not able to get around it in time. This Stevo forces him to just kind of throw away the ball. A good demo from King Pass, though. He's going to go up the back wall. Boozer, you know, trying to put this one in from the angle, but Foof is there. An unfortunate ball. This is going to go back into the Foxes' half, and the Foxes have had a little bit of pressure in the last minute or so, but the Wolves starting to ramp things up on their own. That's a miss there from King Hass, but Hooser gonna get a good clear out. This is gonna go down the field. The demo on the backside is Hooser's gonna put this one in the front. Step, poof, they get clear away. And we stay at one, one half the game left. You know, the Academy League is kind of an interesting mix of, of skill and positioning, but I think the big difference maker that's gonna happen through this series is what team can decision make and position better. Both these teams haven't shown crazy mechanical ability and that could just be first game nerves feeling each other out they're not going for anything too big 
We've seen a few decision-making mistakes, but that, a mechanical error, is going to feed that one right back in front of the net and make it too easy for the Wolves to come up and take the lead back. Yeah, and that's just not a great play in front of that. Unfortunately, just instead of controlling that one, he just kind of popped it right back out to Stevo, and he Stevo puts that one into the midfield and feels able to put that one in. It's for a 2-1 Wolves lead. So even though the Foxes got that first goal, Wolves have struck back twice. Now look to almost be down 3-1, to one, as this is a tough play, but King has is able to put that one into the corner. Now, Foof, trying to get that one out of the corner. It's going to go back into the midfield to get a clear from Stevo. A backflip from King has. It's going to go. It's going to roll up. A miss there again. This is out in the midfield. Stevo is going to have a shot. Bottom corner. It's 3-1 Wolves. I, you know, I think I stand by my statement earlier where I said decision making is what's going to decide this series. But I'm going to retract the part of say where mechanics aren't going to matter as much. Mechanics are going to matter, maybe not in the way you expect. It's going to come in the form of the mistakes. What team is going to make those mistakes? And so far, we've seen it a lot in the Foxes' end, where those mechanical errors are opening up the ball for the Wolves. And the Wolves have done a great job capitalizing on it. It's right there, beating King Hast and just making it just a misread. Almost cost them the goal, but Foo able to come up and clean it up. He had his back. Yeah, this ball, he... Stevo was just like, oh, maybe this will bounce up, but no, stayed straight on the ground, but at least Foof is there. Fox's defense nowhere in sight. And again, a 4-1 lead now. Oh, as, I, as I said earlier on, it was a good start from the Foxes, but now they're they're in a really tough hole with a minute and a half left. They're going to have to find something here as Stevo getting 50 to the corner. I'm getting bombed. This is going to try to go into the midfield if Foof is there. Who's there? Getting a good 50. Stevo getting that ball out of the corner. King has getting demo the play, but Hooser's going to put a shot towards net. A good save from Foof. Good positioning, good ability to get back in time. King has picking up that mid boost, but sacrificing the ball. And now Foof going for demos the net. This is going to be a free shot. No, no ability to make contact on the ball. And the Wolves not able to make that 5-1. You know, again, it just comes down to those mechanical errors. I hate to say it, you, and you hate to see it, but they had such an awesome opportunity right there from the net, both on the side of the Foxes failing to get it clear, but then the Wolves failing to capitalize on it. And, you know, it's not going to cost them too much, as right here, King Haas makes a good read cut back to send that one home. But I think it's too little too late. They've still got two goals to score with 30 seconds to go. Very doable. It's They just haven't been there for this game, and I think the Wolves are going to take game one. Yeah, and as you said, it was another mechanical error, and of course, you know, the Academy League, one of our lower leagues here at the MLE, there is obviously going to be some mistakes, and obviously, you know, some stream nerves as well. Maybe it's, these are a player's first times on streamer, you know, obviously this first game is going to be a little bit of nerves, but hopefully this player's calm down a little bit and make a little bit less mistakes. Estevo gets a good 50 to the midfield, but not able to get it past Hooser. He's going to go to the sidewalk, King Hast. Going to try to get this one down. He's going to try to put this one in the midfield. A good block out from Stevo. And it's a good passing play from the Foxes, but nothing doing. And with that, the Wolves are going to take game number one as the time ticks down. The clock hits zero and the ball hits the ground. And that is game number one. I think we shouldn't discredit the uh, Foxes throughout that series. We saw a pretty commanding win out of the Wolves there, but it didn't feel like that came off of the Wolves' excellent play or something like that. It seemed more like they were just in more, they were in better position to capitalize on Foxes' mistakes. And man, the Foxes made a lot of them. They ended up out of position a lot. A lot of mechanical errors that allowed the Wolves to, to score four goals pretty easily. The Foxes, on the other hand, not showing a lot of life. They tended to push upfield a little bit too much. I know I like to be aggressive. I like that aggressive play style. If you watch some older casts of mine, you'll know I advocate for it a lot, getting up in your opponent's face. But you can't do that as much in twos. You do need to play a little bit more defensive. So I think they need to find a better balance in keeping a player back, but also keeping pressure up on the Wolves' end. Yeah, no, and I agree. I think the, the Foxes also, as you said, need to start, cut down on the mechanical mistakes. And uh, something also you pointed out is the Wolves really capitalize on the Foxes' mistakes. They didn't really create any of their own. Um, obviously, they put the ball in, in opportunities where the Foxes could misplay it, and they did. But if the Foxes cut down on those mechanical errors, the Wolves are going to have to try to find other ways to get goals. But 
as we move into game at number two, the Fox is going to try to find some way back into here. Obviously, they need to win this. They want to win this series. So, and getting uh, getting this game number two, not going down. Oh, uh, oh, two. It's going to be a huge thing. As we've as we've commented on, you know, we play all five games anyways, but you don't want to go down oh two and have the risk of losing the series early on. Absolutely, and but that doesn't mean it's game over as the boxes, or excuse me, the wolves early pressure, but nothing doing. But that doesn't mean it's game over. Every game counts when it comes to playoff time. So even if you do happen to go down early in the seasons, if it's unfortunate when the boxes lose the next two, they still have a chance to recover two more games and give them just a little bit extra help. But that's not the start they need as the Wolves are going to strike first early in game two here with just, again, a mechanical error coming across the middle of the field. I think good challenge out of Hoosier Daddy just didn't make contact with the ball. It's that simple. Yeah. yeah no, definitely. I mean, it was it was a good try. If he, kept if he got contact on the ball, he kept possession of the ball in that Wolves half. But because he didn't, it led to a goal, and this is going to lead to another one. He just... Unfortunate, I hate to call people out, but unfortunate mistouch again, and Stevo's going to capitalize. I, I, I'm right there with you. I hate to get down on particular players or teams, especially when it comes to mechanical errors. It happens. We have off days. It, you just you make mistakes, and it happens at every level too. You know, you watch RLCS; they make mechanical errors. Granted, it happens much, much faster, but it happens. But here. That's just what we're seeing. And, you know, I'd like to see Foxes challenge the Wolves a little bit better and force the Wolves to get creative and make their own opportunities. As here, now we've got the Foxes with a good chance in the back pass. Just misread, and they cannot be missing those goals, especially with how the rest of the series has gone so far. Yeah, that was a goal on a silver platter for the Foxes, and unfortunately gone by the wayside now. A good play there from King Hast, able to get the bump and then put the ball in front, but... As I said, down by the wayside now is King Hass. Puts a shot towards that. Stubbo! Unfortunate miss on the backside, and King Hass gets the first one for the Foxes. You know, as long as we're talking about mechanical errors, it goes the other way to King Hast with a nice pick, and Stevo just not able to get up to it. I think a very savable ball, but, you know, Foxes, you take everything you can get at this point. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is the definition of we take those. Um, the Wolves now in a spot where they're only up by one. Trying to find that two goal differential again as King Hass takes control. And King Hass has really been the catalyst for this Foxes team is uh, unsure of what happened on the back line there, but the Wolves get the third one. It, you know, again, we it just, I don't want to harp too much. I don't want to be that guy, but who's your daddy in a bad position sitting back in the net and then waiting just to a weird time to choose to challenge that ball. Could have either challenged sooner, which admittedly I wouldn't recommend leaving the net that early, or waited a little bit longer to see where that shot was going. But coming out and giving the Wolves just that much more net to shoot at without a defender, you know, it, it's it, fair play to the Wolves, taking advantage of everything they're given. Yeah. No, exactly. I mean, they might not be creating a whole lot of plays on their own, but they're, they are doing a good job of capitalizing on the mistakes. Oof. I think you can touch out into the corner. Who's there? I'm going to put this one into the corner, and this is going to go upfield. This is awkward for him. He's going to try to pass this back to King Hast, I think. But Stevo takes control. Again, pass in the midfield. Foof with the shot. It's just off target. Stevo, another good try, but King Hast bucks this one out. Now, on the counter attack, this is going to bounce up. Stevo able to clear that one away. 243 left. This is in front, but the Foxes need to find something. The Foxes showing a little bit of life there, keeping the ball down in the offensive end with pressure as King Haas sends that one and backs up a little too soon. It goes crossbar and then post that. You know, we said it before, we'll say it again. You can't miss that opportunity if you're the Foxes. You need every little bit of advantage you can get here. And it just, it just can't be doing that. I think that's the third open net miss, unfortunately, that they've had in this game so far. And the Wolves again, they're about to break through this defense again. This might be another one. No, it bounces out a little bit too far. And poof, can't recover in time. The Wolves, you know, they're, they're capitalizing on the, the mistakes, but they're also creating, not having a cut, great opportunities on offense, and now they find their fourth one. Yeah, that, it's just, it was a good turn from Stevo to put that one up, and King Haas 
needed to meet that one on the wall and then didn't chose to back off and try to find it on the ground and you know but it, it is kind of the first time we've seen the wolves open up their own opportunities and it bodes well for the wolves going forward in the series and you know i hate to say it but they don't really need it at this point it, it's king host a little bit on his own trying to carry this game by himself and and it's just not enough against this wolves you know assault this wolves team is quick to pounce on anything this king has gonna try to take control here he's gonna get a pass one he's gonna get a good 50 as well doesn't have a whole lot of boost though so he's in a really tough spot gets a good touch in the corner but it's devil able to block this one away who's here I'm trying to put this one in front but just Another 50, you're just right back in the Fox's end, and that's exactly what they don't need to see right now. Obviously, keeping possession is a huge thing, but you want to be on the offensive side, not the defensive side, as this is a shot towards net. Foof, positioned well for that one in the net, and this is going to be out in front. There's no one there. Who's there? Backed off a little bit too far, not expecting King Pass to get that through. Do we stay at 4 1? This might be 5 1. No, King Pass will be able to clear this one away, but with a minute left, the Foxes need to find something. I, I felt better about the Foxes through this game, but it's just still not enough. They're making too many mistakes. The good news for the Foxes is those mistakes seem to be happening more so on the offensive end than the defensive end as they were in game one. So, you know, it, it bodes well maybe going into game two if they can start to settle some of those offensive mistakes down as that one is towards net, but easy save for Stevo out to the side. It just, it's not gonna be enough to not make mistakes at this point. They need some pretty drastic change to really upset the Wolves as the Wolves now looking at being match point going into game three. Yeah, and at this point, it's pretty much almost confirmed as that's almost a fifth one for Foof. It's gonna be off the back wall. He's gonna take the boost. He's gonna try to go for demos. This one just might go in. No, Stebo will put it wide. The Wolves will move, move to match point. Winning game and number two by a score of four to one. I think that's both games that they've won four to one. I, I believe you are correct in that. And that is an unfortunate start for the Foxes here. Now, the series isn't over. We haven't decided who's won yet. The Foxes still have a chance to settle down a little bit, clean up some of those mechanical errors, clean up some of those positioning errors, because we did see a few of those less so than in the first game. They did much better job with their cycles. Just they still need to clean it up a little bit and then they can take this off the Wolves. On the flip side of the ball, we, again, harped on it. The Wolves not really bringing their own game to the game. They're just kind of letting the Foxes play themselves and then taking advantage of it whenever they get the opportunity. Wolves, you know, it'd be great to see them start to make their own opportunities, open up their own chances, especially now that they're so far ahead in the series. You know, you got a little breathing room. Take advantage of it. Maybe try something new and, and, and work on what you can bring to the next game, you know? It, don't just wait for the foxes to screw up yeah but on the flip side of that right you got the wolves and they're just saying all right well the foxes are making so many mistakes you know why not just wait until they start bringing it to us right um because if you're on the side of the foxes you're making quite a few mistakes but you if you clean this up the wolves are gonna have to find another way to score and at this point if they don't fix it up i mean the wolves that you're not you don't fix with not don't fix what isn't broke, right? Just keep capitalizing the Foxes' mistakes. If they're gonna keep giving you those opportunities, just capitalize on them. Yeah, I get what you're saying. If you've, if you've got the series, the 5-0 sweep in the bag by this play style, then why change it? Yeah, no, for sure. As it's gonna be popped into the midfield. Who's there? Put this one into the midfield. Estevo, trying to get a 50, but it's gonna go off that side wall. Again, back into the midfield. The Wolves trying to do their best. Great opportunities as Hoosier's gonna put this one into the corner and a good start for them. Early on, King Hast, he's gonna be there. He gets a good dunk. Hoosier is gonna go up high. He's gonna try to get a dunk. He can't put that one in. Again, this Wolves team finally able to break out. The Foxes had good pressure. This is gonna be a backflip on net. Foof, gonna get the first one for the Wolves. There it is. That is the Wolves creating their opportunities. Stevo up the wall and then out to center and Foof with a nice touch over the top. Who's your daddy not able to get up to it? That's what we've been I've been asking for from the Wolves. Again, to your point, they don't really need it, but it's nice to see. The flip side of that as well, I know we've said flip side about six times, but it makes a lot of sense. Uh, the Wolves 
don't get to take advantage of those opportunities without being well positioned. So to the Wolves' credit, while they aren't doing a ton to open up the net, they are doing a really good job of managing their spacing on the field and managing their rotations. Where the Foxes have been, when they do get the ball in their own end, just kind of dump it out. And there's always a Wolf player waiting to get that pick up and put it back. But there's King Haas with a bump that's going to open up the net. That is creating opportunities. King Haas, way to tie it back up. Perfect play here. King Haas gets the challenge in midfield. So see you later, Estevo. And a great shot on that as well. Able to put that one into the open net. 1-1 one, one game for the Foxes. And we just talked about creating opportunities. And the Foxes just created their own and tied the game. Fantastic play. It's Foof now. Going to try to get this one back. It's going off, off the back wall. Good save. Stevo. Not with the greatest of shots. Loser. Going to clear this one down. You can bounce off the wall. Oh, good try of passing it in there. Field King has takes control. Gets it over one. Put it at the corner and the Wolves feeling this Fox's pressure now. The Foxes are starting to wake up in the series. You know, I I almost regret a little bit how much we've harped on the Fox's mistakes here and how it's opened up the, the field for the Wolves. But we didn't spend a lot of time talking about what can the Foxes do other than just, you know, be better <laughs> to take this game away from the Wolves. And what we saw there was King Host, exactly one of the things they could do is get Physical. Start with some bumps. Get up in the other team's face. I know I harped early on don't overcommit forward, but you do still need to be aggressive. Send one player forward and always be challenging the ball. But that's an unfortunate touch. But who's your daddy able to get up and keep that one clear? And now it's going back the other way. What a save from Hoosier. Wow. That was ridiculous. I don't know how. I don't know how he saved that. That was a almost a costly mistake, but the Foxes get out of it. This is going to be into the midfield now. King Haas with a shot. It's going to go just high. Loser. Getting a good 50 in the mid in the corner. King Haas. We're just waiting a little bit. The Fox is getting all the time in the world. Loser bumping King Haas as well. But now the Wolves giving away possession. It's going to go up high. Foof. Going to put a shot towards the back wall. Where's the follow-up from Stevo? It's going to be just wide. Unfortunate. It was a good play from the Wolves, and now he's here. able to pop this one out, but only to Stevo, and he's going to capitalize. Open net, and the Wolves take the lead. This isn't the death knell for the Foxes. It's one goal, and it is the absolute latest we've seen it in the series here. You know, they still have hope. Guys, we've got this. You're looking so, so much better. We're seeing so many fewer mistakes. We did see that little bit of tangle up down in the corner where the Foxes got stacked up on each other, a little bit of team bump miraculous save to keep it out but if they can keep that stuff from happening you know this this bodes better i'm not going to say well but better for the foxes going forward but that is going to be dangerous territory stevo is able to tuck that one through despite the challenge a right, double come in there from the foxes and the who's are not able to get back just not enough on that one he almost gets it to the side but not able to get a touch on it to the to the side, and it's 3-1 now for the Wolves. And a fast kickoff there from Stevo. He's gonna try to get another touch into the midfield. A right, good play here. Oh, that would have been a beautiful play from the Wolves, but not able to really, not able to make contact on it was Foof. And now, all this open space again, the Fox is just giving so much open space to the Wolves in their own half. With a minute 20 left, they need to close this one down, close this one down now. You know, you mentioned that open space, and it's just like I said a little bit earlier. You know, you need to manage your defensive positioning, but you need to get in the other team's face. Academy League, you're looking at kind of diamond level players. Some of these players can be very capable mechanically, especially when you give them room. It's not like Premier League where they can pick up a ball instantly and make plays with it. It's a lot of times need a little bit more space to set it up. But the Foxes are out here giving them that space. You need to be up in your opponent's face, challenge, force them to make plays, uncomfortable plays that they don't want to make. Really do. And now the Fox is almost in uh, a headlock there. I'm not going to call it a rule or anything because I don't want, uh, don't want don't want to be quarter size on the, in the Twitch chat. Um, King has to get a clear out. And now they need to get a goal here pretty quickly to make sure the Wolves. Oh, this is off the crossbar and a good fit out follow up from Hoosier. He's going to put that one in. It's a 3 2 game. All right, Foxes, you got 21 seconds to score. One more goal here to at least force the overtime and keep yourselves alive 
in the series. Wolves a little bit on the back foot there, a little overconfident maybe playing up too much and just getting burned coming back the other way. And this has been the closest game of the series so far and the Foxes need it to stay alive with an opportunity to win this series still. He has not able to get contact on it. Stevo almost ends the game right there. This is not a great touch move. Not able to capitalize by King Cast. They have to go the length of the field and they're not gonna do it. The Wolves are gonna take game three and they're gonna win the series, but see if the Fox can come back and take a game or two. Yeah, this being MLE, the Wolves have won the series, but it's not over yet. And we've seen the Foxes improve just incrementally game over game, a little too little too late. They weren't able to save the series, but they still have a chance to pick up two wins here, advance their record to, what's that going to be, 5-15. and 15. Not great, but we've got a lot of season left. You don't know if they're going to be able to turn it around. This is uh, Hoosier Daddy's first game this season. I believe he's also new to the, uh, to the MLE, so this could be their first game, period. Here it is on stream on the main channels. You know, that that's a lot of nerves. Going forward, though, they've settled the mistakes down a lot they've done so much better it still happens here and there but that's going to happen with every team at every level their positioning is better it could use a little work but now they need to get creative and really beat out the wolves here somehow i think again the physical play the in your face play having one player back safe to play defense but the other player that's open up for that get up in the other team's face and disrupt that play style for the wolves the wolves on the other hand a little shaky relative to how they were before so maybe they maybe it's time they start to figure out some extra little stuff uh, but we'll just have to see coming into game four here something i want to call out because we've been we were nagging on him a little bit through game one and two but hooser had a fantastic game number three um, absolutely he picked it up defensively picked it up offensively yeah, I wonder if the nerves were gone from him at that point. But yeah, he had a fantastic game. I don't want to make him feel bad about you know, he's on broadcast, you know, but um, he had a fantastic game number three. And hopefully they can pick things up and the Wolves having a little bit of fun. Uh, Roadhog and I think that's the breakout, the Dominus GT. I, I'm unsure. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. We'll see if the Wolves can get a win with these cars. It's Hooser to put this one in the midfield and King Hass now with it. They're trying to take control. Ooh. I was just about to say so far not a good start for the Wolves with that attack right back the other way and they don't capitalize on it but the Foxes looking good 45 seconds or so into this game with lots of offensive pressure. They just need to now find the back of the net. Yeah, King Hass now with it. In the aftershock which we mentioned on earlier but you know, you want to know an interesting fact that I got told is he makes a beautiful Ooh. pass in the midfield to Hooser, and they're going to grab the early 1-0 lead. Apologies. That was that cut off, I thought. Wow, that was a beautiful pass to center, and Hoosier Daddy, such a nice read to be able to slam that one home and give the Foxes their first lead, I think, since game one. Yeah, it is their first lead since 13 seconds in of game number one. Um, and they're going to give it right back up. Unfortunate for the, the Foxes. They made a good play on the offensive side, but unfortunately just get beat on the back end, and it's 1-1. You know, there's not a whole lot to say about that one. Diving in, trying to get the ball clear. I, I'm not sure what better decision there could have been, and the execution just left a little bit to be desired. Wolves, as always, there to capitalize. Yeah. And Foof. Gonna put that one in. Unfortunate miss on the back wall. Uh, and now it's 2-1 for the Wolves. Uh, Hoosier just unable to get up in time. And as I said, it is 2-1. And it's unfortunate, you know. <laughs> Canines, opportunistic yeah. carnivores. They don't necessarily need to eat meat, but man, if you give them the opportunity, they are ready to pounce on it. And here we see it with the Wolves. Every chance, every time they smell blood in the water, or blood on the grass, I guess. They're not they're not fish. But they're foxes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Every what kind of foxes blood, you deal they are, with. <laughs> they are right there to get onto that ball and send it right into the net. And it's just, it's rough going for the uh, smaller, more diminutive fox it is. It's going to be a good save there from Hooser. Good job of keeping his team in it. This is going to be King Hass. Good try to get a pass. It was almost a beautiful ones play. Hooser, gonna put this one off the back wall. 
King Haas can't beat him to the ball, and this is going to go all the way down the field. Stebo going to put this one into the open net, and it's 3-1, and I just I just want to comment on how much I don't dislike that goal explosion. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say about your, uh, your goal explosion issues here, but I will say since we're seeing the Wolves uh, kind of run away with this game, I'm going to take a minute here to plug the MLE itself because maybe the Foxes could use some fresh blood and some help, and maybe you stumbled across us here on Emily Sports GG2 and aren't a member of the community. So if you're not a member of the community, head on over to emilysports.gg slash apply, fill an application. Our administration or uh, admission staff is great. I know DJ, the guy that runs it's a great guy. He would love to get you on your way to being on one of these teams and on one of these streams playing here with us in the Emily. It's a great time. We have a lot of fun. It's a good way to get her. Also on the Emily website, emilysports.gg, we've got merch, articles, uh, power rankings, stats, everything you'd want from a competitive league. So if you haven't already, Join us here in the Emily. It's a lot of fun, even as we watch the Foxes fall once again to the Wolves here. But that's Ooh. threatening. We got the Foxes back on the attack. Oh, is King Harris is going to put a shot towards net? He will. And it's, don't, don't look now. It's 3-2. Here, I'll help the Foxes out. I'll keep ranting about the MLE because that seems to be what's going to do it for them. Kidding. I'm sure you've heard enough of me talk. Good turnaround for the Foxes. Way to take advantage of their own opportunities. Yeah, fantastic play from King Hast. And something I actually wanted to comment on earlier. Uh, interesting note from the, uh, the the notes that I read earlier on. He likes to call that the after Fox. Um, I don't know if that's just because he's on the Foxes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that was a name for just this season, but that's what he likes to ca call it. He makes work of it here, and it's 3-2. Yeah, but they need to find another goal. This being asked again. Put this one to the corner. Who's here? Let's it go past him to King Hass. Gets a, another pop out into the midfield, and who's here? Not able to get a touch on it. Foof. Waiting for it to come down. A good pass there from Stevo, but it's only to King Hass. Now with a minute 20 left, the Foxes need to find a goal here. And I feel like I've been saying that over and over this series, but they really have, they really got to find one. Yeah, this, I think waiting to the last 30 seconds to score is not going to work for him as that one towards the back wall, but not on net. And King Haas dropping all the way back for boost. We've seen it a couple of times out of the Foxes. I'm sure it's happened, but I haven't really noticed it out of the Wolves. And it's pretty endemic in this academy league level that's kind of mid diamond range where players aren't comfortable playing on low boost and they've got a nasty habit of when they end up in low boost situations hunting for the nearest hundred boost they can find and sometimes that means they go all the way back to their own end and it leaves them out of position and at a disadvantage going forward something that everybody could do better around this level get comfortable existing 20 30 boost looking for pennies staying up even if you have zero boost like just in today playing ranked scored on zero boost all the way from my own net you just have to get comfortable accepting hey i've got no boost i'm gonna make the best of it i've got a teammate that's there when it's time for me to pull off this ball they'll be ready because they've now had time to go get their own boost and you know oh what but, a triple play king has makes houston uh low boost and uh, <laughs> uh makes it four three Sometimes that's all you need. Foof giving just a little bit too much space to King Haas there. Maybe need to challenge a little sooner and take away that shooting opportunity, but that's going to bring it within one. And now the Fox is once again one goal away from being able to at least force overtime and take a game for themselves. Put this one to the side, and now the Wolves being given all the space in the world as, again, they back, the Fox is back off, and give too much space and King Haas gets demoed on the backside, but that commits both players. If Hooser can get around it in time, they're trying to get a pop over one, he does. A good passing play, King Haas tries to get it, keep it up. It's gonna stay up, not for long as Hooser was gonna put this one to the ground, couldn't keep it up in time. And the Wolves take the fourth game going up four to nothing so far. I think we saw at the end there exactly what I just got done talking about. Yeah. King Host, it's end of the game, zero seconds on the clock, out of boost, decides to abandon center and go look for that mid boost as Hoosier Daddy looking for that pass. It was the right pass, send it center, and all King Host had to do was launch it downfield towards the goal, but instead hunted boost, and now we see the full Wolves go up 4 nothing in the series. That is just 
that's just not good for the Foxes. Yeah, and, you know, it's something that new GM Fallen doesn't want to see either. Uh, he just got GM of the Foxes this week, and he's had to witness his team go down 4 to nothing. I'm oh, sorry, 0-4. Oh, I don't know if you want, whatever you want to call it. What, what do you think the Foxes have to do going into game number five to take at least one game? I think they need to really step up the game. They need to go above and beyond the academy level here. They need to, like I said, get really comfortable existing in that low boost region. Get really aggressive with that forward player. Again, don't commit both players up without a guaranteed opportunity. But get really aggressive with that forward player. Get in their face. Demo. Bump. And, and then also be looking for those upfield passes. We end up with a player upfield a lot of the time, and the Foxes have a tendency to kind of dump and chase. Just throw the ball out to the Wolves. Take advantage of that. If you're going to send it upfield anyway, have a player up there ready to go and take advantage of a cherry pick a little bit and hopefully pick up some goals here. And hopefully clean things up on the back end as well. King Hass with this one towards the middle. That's a really good play, but unfortunate that they couldn't get things started. Stevo could have also put this one into the midfield. King Hass now with it. Another corner. Gets a pass one. Trying to get a pass through, he does. This is a good 50. This might just roll in, it will. And the Foxes again take another early lead. The first time since game one, they've had scored the first goal. It, you know, it's funny. We got the first goal in game one in about 13 seconds, the first goal in game four in about 21 seconds, and now in 22 seconds, the first goal for the Foxes. Again, it just hasn't panned out. They really need to take advantage of it. And that is towards net, but who's your daddy? Just a little wide. Probably going to be wanting that one back later. Oh, man. I can feel the pain on that one. You just cheat up, and then you're like, oh, man, I have an open net. Let me hit this one to the corner for placement. Get it around him. But just puts it wide. And the Foxes, as you said, probably going to want that one back, but it might not matter. It's foof. Try to put this one into the corner there. Fox is waiting a little bit too long, and and now they're waiting again as Foof is gonna get the shot on Stevens, gonna get the demo. It's one one. You know, it it, it kind of ended that at that point for the Foxes where both players unsure of what to do or where to be, and there wasn't really a right answer, but there was definitely a wrong one, and we saw it right there. Both players backing off and just waiting to see what happened. Whatever your decision is, I, I used to play football and my coach would say, whatever your decision is, right or wrong, make it fast. If you're going to make a mistake, make it fast. And we saw there the Foxes choosing to play slow and getting burned. They did get burned. Now the Wolves, after going down again early, find another goal to tie things up. It's King Hast. It's 50 in his own half. This has popped up. This is really awkward. King Hass does get a touch, but for how long can he keep that ball out? He doesn't have a whole lot of boost. He's got to make the best of it. Estevo to take possession. Both Wolves players kind of on top of each other here, but well, the spread out now as King Hass gets a good challenge. And the Wolves, they're playing a little bit slow. And now they're, that's another, that's a double commit from the Wolves. Now they're caught out again. This might be an opportunity for the Foxes, but... No, they get caught out again on the other side. King Hass keeps it out for how long? It's a good save, good recovery as well. And the Foxes stay uh, tied at one. And we've seen these opportunities. Here it is. I'm not even going to say it, but wow. Foof with the save on the goal line dive to keep this one to one. Wow. The Foxes almost finding a lead again. As this is another play into the midfield, King Hass passing this one down. Hooser going to be there, a double commit from the Wolves, but King Hass is in an awkward spot, and now Hooser just kind of clears that one long away from both of them. And now all that offensive pressure is gone by the wayside, and a miss there from Hooser on the backside again. And the Wolves, all the offensive pressure, a good 50, it goes into the midfield. King Hass has to keep control of this into his corner. Poof. Not going to make contact, but nobody makes contact, so it might not matter. This is going to go past him. Foof. Able to get back in time and get a touch to the corner. It's Foof again. Another great touch down the field. And this might go into the midfield for Stevo. And no, this is going to be the Wolves caught out. And who's going to put this one into the open net? 2-1 Foxes. 
you know, this series started with us harping maybe a little bit too much on Hoosier Daddy here. But definitely coming alive in these last two games and really putting in the work to try to pull this last game back and at least eke out a win, not get shut out going through game five here. King Host, on the other hand, being a little boost happy, I think. A lot of times we've seen turning away in favor of boost, and I just really recommend that that doesn't happen, but it doesn't matter there if you're going to bump the goalie out of the way. Wolves again making, sorry, I say again, but kind of a rare instance in this series, but making their own opportunities, opening up that net for themselves and forcing that one home. Well, the thing is that the Foxes have cleaned things up in the, in the last little bit, but both the goals this game have been demo and bump plays for the Wolves, and now the, the Foxes in an awkward spot, and now that's a mistake, and the Wolves will capitalize as Stepo gets the challenge, and it's 3-2. This is exactly what we said would have to happen. If the Foxes clean up and they try to figure it out and at least settle down into a you know basic game, nothing creative, nothing crazy, but clean up those mistakes, it's going to force the Wolves to figure out how to score goals on their own. And they did exactly that. Here in Game 5, they figured out the bump plays, the demo plays, and those those big clears off the defensive end, and it's, it's worked. They've absolutely risen to the challenge. Yeah, I mean... It's really hard when you don't get solid contact or double commit on one play and then try to make a desperation challenge and then get caught out. That's a good play from King Hast, but they find themselves down yet again, which is something that they've been in all series long. And another demo on the backside as King Hast gets demoed. And this is going to be a shot towards Nets demo from the wall. That's going to bounce in. King Hast can't get there. And he's going to put that one in. It's 4-2. I almost wonder if the Wolves listening to stream here as they have absolutely taken the game four to game five advice for the Foxes and run with it. Get those demos, get those bumps, disrupt the defense, and then take your shots. And where the Foxes have not, the Wolves have absolutely taken to that as the solution to the Foxes cleaning up their act. Yeah. And now, Stevo might have just gotten the five, he might have secured the 5-0 sweep unless the Foxes you get nope. something, but nope, that one's going to be all the way down. Not a great challenge. His foof is going to get a great one, and it's 5-2. I, I guess there's not a whole lot left to say at this point. King Haas caught out of position following a teammate. That is something that, at least for me, absolutely drives me insane. If I'm playing and my teammate's right behind me, it's not going to help. It, what is? I don't understand what the strategy is. Either the pass is going to come and the teammate's not there to receive it, or... The first player is going to get beat like we saw there, and the teammate's not in position to play defense. And, it, you know, it's just it's breaking down for the Foxes here. They had such a good showing through Game 4 in the first part of Game 5, and I think as those goals piled on from the Wolves, they've just kind of given up hope, and, and this is broken down here. Yeah, unfortunate, as the Wolves are going to get another one at 6-2. That might be the final, but with four seconds left, we can safely assume the Wolves will sweep the foxes here and will move to a record of i think it's 10 and 10 mm -hmm. and the foxes will move to hold on give me three and momentum. 17 three and 17 that's going to be a tough hole to climb out of but we'll see what they can do for the rest of the season is ball will be killed here and they will secure the wolf sweep The story of this series, it was really the Foxes playing the Foxes with the exception of kind of the first half of game five where the Wolves were forced to figure something out. And they absolutely did, but then it went right back to how we saw the rest of this series with the Foxes playing the Foxes, putting themselves out of position, making four touches, and just setting up the Wolves to, to take this series and run away with it. Yeah, no, and I 100% agree. I mean, they they played themselves for most of that series. There was opportunities that the Wolves did. I mean, they they left some things open, but in the end, they scored enough to really outplay their own mistakes. They didn't really make a whole lot of mistakes on their own. So hopefully moving forward, the Foxes can clean things up, and the Wolves, you know, obviously getting that sweep can hopefully get some more wins down the road. But that'll be it for this Academy League Wolves and Foxes series. We'll be moving on to Champ League next, actually, which is the same teams, the Foxes and Wolves. Uh, you guys won't want to miss it. It's going to be after the break.